Alright then, so welcome to episode 5, and today we're going to be going over making these jump, being able to jump through, and these, when you hit them on the head, well, hit them in the bottom with your head, they'll um, drop some coins, they'll uh, make a coin appear. So, yeah. This is pretty easy, you just add a behaviour to it and make sure that the behaviour is jumped through. Jump through. Where are you? Do, do, do. There it is. So, as you can see, if we can get over that. Doop, ba doop. Yeah, you can't make that jump. Gonna have to fix this. Oh. There's another bug as well. Boom. So, we can jump through it, and then we can land on it. And as you can see, we can run along the top of these. Because they're solids, I think. They're not solids, but we can run on top of them. I don't know why. Let's make them solids. These should also be solids. There we go. So, we now have those as solids. We'll fix collisions next time as well. That's a problem. Get rid of that solid. I had a feeling that might happen. Keep the solid on the thingy one saw. So. On these. So on this, we can jump through. On these, we can't. Okay, so that's good. So, what we need to do now is we need to make these work. So, in here, we're going to have player on collision with other object. Stone question box. I didn't know what to call it. So, you know, I called it that. Now, if you can see a problem with this, it's you're probably right. What it is is you can just jump through these and get that. We want it when they hit it from the bottom. So how we do that is we can do it multiple ways. But the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna have the player is overlapping at offset yeah so oh no what is what's that called again? oh no it's origin point I'm on a boat uh player screw it we'll just do that um so we're going to want system to create an object coin on layer zero at player dot x and player dot y take two take two and we want to put all this in a floor so basically what flooring does is it makes 
numbers like point something into just normal numbers like so 2.1 would be 2 2.5 would be 3 I think might just be 2 I don't know if it rounds up or just flaws it to the number but anyways still need to fix that maybe I'll do that as well so collision and as you can see it does create it but it disappears straight away so what we can do with that is we can just quite simply divide it by two instead now this might make it a little bit too far away but I don't know maybe it'll spawn it in the floor or something well it isn't doing anything at the minute where did it go I don't know yeah so divided isn't gonna work so we're just gonna have to minus it by 10 Minus it by 10. So that should spawn it somewhere else. I press space then. GG me. Silly me. So there you go, you can see it spawning. But um, it doesn't fall to the floor, we can add physics to the coin. So behavior you know what for now that'll do actually because we do okay what I'm gonna do is just decided now I'm gonna make these come out of the top of these fly up and then like land but that's advanced stuff so We'll leave that until later. Trust me. It's worth waiting for. It's going to be cool. So that's that. Now let's fix this bug here. So what we want to do is... We want the system... No, no, no. We want player. Because we're bounding him. Right, we're doing both. What we need to do is we need to set up boundaries now we're bounding him to the layout but we're also destroying outside of the layout so we're not going to bounce the layout but we will destroy outside the layout so now rather than just being able to sit on the bottom of the layout it'll actually fall straight through and kill us so as you can see, health goes straight to zero because you're dead. You don't exist. Coins goes to zero because you don't exist. That isn't good. I didn't think about that. This is actually going to have to go away. It's going to have to be a global variable. Because... We don't want it to disappear as soon as we die. Well, I suppose we can actually. I've just messed up so many things there. Coins. Leave it at that. Coins, coins, coins. This needs to... Oh yeah. Set text to... Coins equals coins player dot coins put an and there we go we also need to have
coins. There we go. So let's just test that again. Should be fixed. Yep, 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 yep. And when we fall out, it dies. So, player undestroyed. Undestroyed. Now, this is where it's going to come in handy. So, compare this, so if level number is 1, when it's destroyed, we're going to want it to system, we're going to want the system to create an object, player, at Uh, we'll just we'll put zero zero at the minute. Gotta get the coordinates. So we're gonna want it to put it at x zero and y five seven six five seven six. So when we die, it's just gonna respawn us. Boop. 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 There we go. So, as you can see, the coins resets itself to zero, but the health also stays at 100. Okay. But you can also see that these coins disappear. So, how we're going to. Oh, I've got death in my left ear. That's weird. How we're going to fix this is we're going to just system restart layout. So it's going to respawn everything. Bob. There we go. Whee! Try me hardest here. Ugh. No, it's physically impossible. Okay. So there you are. Um, there's your respawn system. Now, that's there so that it's not going to do it on every other level. It'll only do it on level 1. So we can have that again. But if it's on level 2. It'll not respawn it there. It'll respawn it at the beginning. So yeah. Um, let's see what we're going to do next episode. Enemies I think. We'll do enemies next episode. So we'll stick an enemy right there. And we'll make, we'll make it go left. And we'll make it go right. Until it's killed. Pretty much. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you then.